Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. Folks, Donald Trump just pulled another big move on Alvin Bragg, and this one is really, really going to affect him. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, I think Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has seriously, I guess, underestimated former President Donald Trump. I think he seriously underestimated the former president's attorneys. I think he seriously underestimated who he was about to face. This is not going to be a simple task for him. And Trump just hit him with another haymaker, another haymaker that could take down his star witness. That's how serious this is. Trump has launched a $5 million lawsuit against his former attorney, Michael Cohen. Now, why is that significant? You say, well, it's just a lawsuit, no big deal, right? How does one case affect the other? Here's how. The grand jury was allowed to hear testimony by Michael Cohen. But the way grand juries work, you don't get to cross-examine somebody. The prosecutor brings in a witness. The witness testifies before the grand jury. Nobody tries to catch him in a lie. Nobody tries to make him corroborate what he's saying. Nobody pokes holes in his story. That's why it's so easy to indict somebody. A grand jury only hears one side of the story. But in a lawsuit against Michael Cohen, that's a game changer because now you're going to have discovery. And what discovery means is Cohen's going to be asked to provide evidence for the things he said against former President Donald Trump, the way he's defamed his name on cable news, the way he's gone on a one-man mission to attempt to destroy this man, the way he has defamed him. All those things now are going to be brought to light, and now he's going to have to support them with evidence, and he's going to get cross-examined. This is a whole different ballgame. So this could, by getting that evidence in one case, bring that over to the other the case, the criminal case, could poke tremendous holes, tremendous holes in the star witness, the star witness for Alvin Bragg, which is Michael Cohen. He is the star witness, not Stormy Daniels. Cohen's the star witness. Stormy Daniels, I mean, has pretty much indicated she just wants this thing to go away. So the real issue here is Michael Cohen. He's the guy. He's the key. And if you bring him down, we already know he's a convicted liar. He's served time for being a convicted liar. So that's, you know, right off the bat, your witness is a convicted liar, which is hilarious. Now, we may be catching him in new lies if the discovery, you know, proves that he has told other lies to defame the former president. So this has really been a bad week for Alvin Bragg. On the other hand, a few days ago, he had to take out one of his own investigators in the case for having too strong of friendly ties with Michael Cohen. Had the man turn in his gun. The man is suspended. This is one of the lead investigators for financial crimes. Now again, he's a lead investigator for financial crimes, and Michael Cohen's uh, attorney, Lanny Davis, comes out and says, well, he was just you know coordinating with Cohen about security. Why would the lead investigator for financial crimes be coordinating with you about security? Why wouldn't you just go to the police, not somebody involved in the case? Why is your relationship so tight with this particular man who's involved in this particular case against a particular person you particularly despise? Hmm. So Bragg had to suspend him. Now Cohen's going to get sued. This has not been a manner week for Alvin Bragg. His case looks like it's going down in flames, and he deserves it, in my opinion, because this is a nonsense case from day one. Folks, again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.